main goal is I can convert decimals, percents, and fractions. So today we're going to be looking at converting all three decimals, percents, and fractions. Joke of the day. Skinny turkey, teas, $10. Mm -hmm. When you're too lazy to build a snowman. Uh, uh. Let's start with a bit of vocabulary. When you say per cent, we're really saying per 100. So a per cent is out of 100. Let's go ahead and convert two-fifths from a fraction to a decimal. There's a few different ways you can do this. One way is by dividing. I like to draw a line above the two, and that tells me that the two goes inside the house. So I had two with a five on the outside. You add a decimal and a zero. Now five can't go into two, so if I get stuck, I back up the truck and go here to zero. How many times does five go into 20? So then my answer is four tenths. Let's take a look at part B here. Again, draw my line here. Three goes on the inside, and a two goes on the outside. Three, two goes into three one time, the remainder one. Since we want to convert it to a decimal, we have to add a decimal place and add a zero. Bring down my zero, two goes into ten five times. And we get 1 and 5 tenths. So the answer is 1 and 5 tenths. That's how you convert a fraction to a decimal. Now let's take a decimal and convert it into a fraction. So we have 8 hundredths. The decimal is in the hundredth place. Therefore, we can write 8 out of 100. 8 out of 100 is equivalent to 2 out of 25. So remember, when you're converting decimals to fractions, ask yourself, what place is the decimal in? And in this case, it was in the hundredth place. Let's keep going. Let's convert a decimal to a percent. To convert a decimal to a percent, move the decimal two places to the Did you say to the right? If you said to the right, then you were correct. This is equivalent to multiplying by 100. So I move this two places to the right, you get 5%. Applying that same logic here, I move this as two places to the right, and I get 260%. Let's keep going. Now let's convert a percent to a decimal. To convert a, dec convert a percent to a decimal, drop the percent sign and move the decimal two places to the left. This is equivalent to dividing by 100. So if we have 62%, you move it two places to the left, and we get 62 hundredths. So A is 62 hundredths. What about 103%? I thought you couldn't be more than 100. It's out of 100, right? It's percent. 
Not quite. Percent, if you remember, means per 100. So it could still be more than 100%. And in this case, we had 103%. So we want to move this two places to the left from the right. And we get 1 and 3 hundredths. So 103% is equivalent to 1 and 3 hundredths. Let's keep going. Let's convert a percent to a fraction. To convert a percentage to a fraction, put the percentage over 100 and reduce. Reduce means simplify. I encourage you to pause the video and try this on your own. 35% and first I'm going to convert these into into fractions so that's what we should do out of 100 so now I get 35 out of 100 and 35 out of 100 is equal to 7 over 20 the last one, we have 120%. Remember, a percent is per 100. So we have 1 and 20 out of 100. 1 and 20 out of 100 is equivalent to 1 and 1 over 5. A fraction to a percent. To convert a fraction to a percent, Blank the numerator by the denominator and multiply by blank. We will divide the numerator by the denominator and multiply by 100. So 1 divided by 4. You get 2 with 8 left over. Add a 0. And multiplying by 100 is the same thing as moving the decimal over two places to the right. So we get 25%. So 1 fourth is equivalent to 25%. 7 over 12. Divide and multiply. I encourage you to pause the video and try this on your own. 7 goes on the inside, 12 goes on the outside. Twelve can't, seven can't, twelve can't go into seven. So if you get stuck, you back up the truck. Twelve times five is sixty, with a remainder of ten. Now we'll add a zero. Twelve times eight is ninety-six, with a remainder of four. Add a zero. Goes in there three times. And it looks like we're going to continue to repeat here. So we have 583 thousandths. We want to convert this to a percentage, so we'll move it two places to the right. We get 58.3%. Okay. Oh. Today we learned how to convert decimals, percents, and fractions. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.